this video, we're going to configure your operation settings. So to do that, we're going to start by going to the operations tab. Next, we're going to click on the operation settings button. In this case, I have multiple shops. You'll likely just have one, but if you do have a bunch, you can of course configure each of those shops separately. So I'm going to click here on operation settings. Here in operation settings, we're going to set a whole bunch of information about your shop to make sure you're set up properly going forward. At the top here, you'll see shop name or operation name, the address, country, region. So make sure all that stuff is set. If you do need to make an edit, click on edit, make the change, and then remember to click save. I'm gonna scroll down here. There's city, postal code, phone number, email. Here, operation type, you're gonna set whether you're a physical establishment or a mobile service. You can add your website as well. Distance measurement. Are you going to operate in kilometers or miles? Volume measurement. Are you going to operate in liters or quarts? Number of bays. So if you're a mobile operation, you can select zero or one. Uh, one's probably better. If you're a physical shop, you can select up to 10 bays. Currency you operate in. We're going to select US or Canadian dollars. And next is your taxation. So you'll see a whole bunch of taxation slots you can use if you have multiple taxes for your region, city, state, or province. Um, in this example, you'll see we have a sales tax set at 6.5%. To edit this, you can click simply click edit, change the name of your tax here, and remember to hit save, and then you can change your percentage as well. You'll also see a recommendation based on your region. Um, so you can use that, but you of course will know your regions better so you can modify your taxes to whatever you need. Scrolling past the rest of taxation, here is our order invoice text area. Whatever text you add here is gonna show up on all of your orders. So you can hit edit, like I mentioned earlier, change your text to whatever you need, and then remember to hit save. If you wanted to hide the text uh, input here from being on your orders, you can hide it. If you don't want to hide it, just leave that set to no. Um, there's also a signature pad that will show up on your orders. So same thing, if you want to hide that, you can set that as well. Next is service positions. So again, these are optional. You don't have to use these, but if you want to have service positions, um, these are positions that kind of show which of your technicians were on the order and what role they played on that order. So in this example, I have an above tech position, a lower tech, and a service writer, but you can delete those positions by clicking the X or add new positions and type in whatever you want. Okay, there's a finalized order checklist. So don't use this as your inspection checklist. We're gonna talk about inspections later, but this checklist here, you can add required uh, checklist items that your technicians are forced to check off before completing an order. So you can use that. It's more of an internal tool. The customer doesn't see that information. Uh, there is an inspection section we'll talk about later on where the customer will see all the inspections you've done. So I recommend using that section instead and only use this if you wanna have an internal list of things to check off the next option here is to add bay number to your order invoice. You can say yes or no to that. And uh, you can add, of course, your own logo. So here you can hit choose image, upload any logo that you want, and that logo will show up on your invoices. In the next section, you can decide whether you wanna use the Carfax integration or not. So what Carfax lets you do is if you want to use the integration, whenever you punch in a license plate, the license plate will get looked up in the Carfax system. Uh, and that will serve back the VIN so that you can look that up and find uh, all the information about that car a little bit quicker. So basically, if you want to be able to punch in plates that have not been to your shop before and get the VIN back, you're going to have to use the Carfax integration. To use the integration, simply click here uh, and choose Use My Carfax. Either of these second two options for a new customer is pretty much the same thing. Um, then you'll have to accept the terms of service, the terms and uh, conditions you can read here, um, and hit Accept. Next, we have some override code options. So what these override codes let you do is limit who in the system is able to perform a refund, void an order, or cancel an order. So currently, with none of these set, anybody, any of my technicians or managers can go ahead and refund, void, or cancel an order. 
If I wanted to set a code for these different uh, options, I can go ahead and hit edit. I can create the code I want to create. So let's say I want 202 to be my refund code and I can hit save. Now I would tell any of my technicians or managers that I want to be able to do refunds, uh, what that code is of course. And then anytime they go to process a refund, they're going to be asked for that code. If you don't want any of these codes and you want anybody to be able to refund, void, or cancel, then you'd get rid of the code and leave it as is. The next section talks about QuickBooks. So you can integrate your QuickBooks online with DropTop. Uh, to do that, my integration's already set up. You can see I'm connected to QuickBooks. You'll see a big button here that says connect to QuickBooks. So to make that integration, you simply click that button. You're gonna then be asked to log into your QuickBooks account and then that uh, integration will, will all be set up for you. Another integration is our built-in payment processing system. So if you'd like to use our built-in DropTop payments, which is all powered through Stripe, you can click this uh, Connect Stripe button. If you don't see that button, you'll see an email account here that you can reach out to us and we can enable payments for you. So reach out to us and we can help you set up your payments. The last option you'll see at the bottom here is DropTop API. Um, with DropTop, you can connect our system to other systems. So if you're interested in using our API, uh, again, reach out to us as well, and we can help open that up for your account. So that's it. That's operation settings. Mm -hmm.